Okay, hello fellow YouTubers. I'm here today to teach you how to fix a major problem. Okay, yeah. It's about the Magic Lands New York City subway cars, how most of them are faulties. Now, I'm, I'm here to teach you how to fix it. So here's what you have to do. What you're going to want to do is, you're going to click on you click on which file you want like for example R17 green subway car you you view errors warnings and then you let it validate okay it says attachment point 20 a point psi t 38 is not found so I'm gonna teach you how to fix that in a little while and then here it says texture, New York NYCTA R17G body pulse texture is missing, could not be loaded for the mesh NYCTA G body NYCTA 7, R17 body IM. Okay? Now I'm going to teach you how to fix the problem. Okay? Good. Now, right click on the file, go to edit, edit and explore. Wait for it to load. Okay. And then you go to the configuration file, which is a notepad. Then you're going to find the, the attachment point. Attachment point 20 right here and then you see what they just said the error was so instead of PSIT you're gonna put pass right there okay then you save the file X this out and then X that out and then you're gonna need a software called PEV soft PM 2 IM to fix the other error with the textures post texture okay yeah this is the website I'll put a link in the video and then when you download it you're gonna open it and then after you're gonna find this this is what you should see then what you're gonna do now is go to options and then click open IM files then you go to file you open the file of the of the train right. I'll go to um, program files wherever you save the train simulator 12 or it could work on train simulator 10 too I don't know about the others user data editing and R17 green subway car and then go to body and make sure you click the body this one you open the file conversion done and now let's check and see if there's any errors the only error it says it used the obsolete trains build number but you don't have to worry about that it will still work and now I'm gonna test it out. Launch trains. Yeah, now when you click launch, when you go to file and click launch trains, make sure it commits the assets so they work. But like, if you wanna add the sound to the subway cars, you can do that later. You can always edit it in Notepad and then and then after yeah okay it's committing the assets and it and it only works for IM files unfortunately it doesn't work with the R33 subway cars but if you want like a world's fair something f f similar to the R33 built by magic land you can you can use the R36 with the same strategy 
Okay, yeah. Hey guys, sorry about that. When I when I loaded trains from the content manager, they said there was an error, so I just opened trains up. I just opened trains up manually. Yeah, manually. So now it's loading, and it should. Yeah, it's working. And yes, this is trains 12. So first, I'm gonna go to the rail yard and show how that if it works. Okay. Rail yard. Okay. And usually, it, trains has a habit of when you in when you download stuff from. When you download trains from from the download station, they like they add it to your favorites in the rail yard. So okay, now you search for the train that you downloaded. Okay, um, we downloaded the R27. No, the R12. Yeah. And look at that. It's right here. R12. It wasn't working, but now it is. And trains 12. And none of these other cars were working either. But now I'm going to test drive them. Like, yeah, the R27 wasn't working either. But, yeah, like I said, like, I can't figure out a way to get the R, none of the, any of the R33s working and running. So, yeah. Now, I'm gonna test it out in, in driving mode. It's... It's not going to have it's not going to have the real sound of the train but you'll have to add the sound on your own by going like clicking on the file going to edit and explore and then you find the engine sound and after you find engine sound then you you get the QUID of and I'll, it's hard to explain but You'll figure it out. Okay? Now, when I type in R12, look, because, see, the R, the two R33s are faulties because they're, they're red. And I still didn't fix the R38 yet. So, yeah, I just have to fix the R30A because, yeah, that's the only thing I have to fix left because... The R33s are not working at all. Okay. And you can set up the car numbers. The one to South Ferry. You can edit that if you want. Oh boy. When I first tried this out, I was really excited. Like, you can make it say... Like... Anything you could possibly can. Actually, I want it to say something else. I, I want it to be bound for something else. Okay, now... Well, trains may work faster on your computer, but not mine. Well, sometimes it does, but it depends. You add a two to new lots. That's beast right there. Okay, and I also installed the, the green R17. Yeah, and it... Okay. And this also says one to South Ferry, but it's sort of newer. Yeah, okay. And this was during the period where... Yeah, and it the three to Flatbush. Still beast. And now for the R27.
it says R. The RR. Yeah, they used to do that back in the old days. I'm going to make it into the A train. Actually, I'm going to make it into the N train because the N train is one of my favorite letter trains. Okay. Now we're going to test it out. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, now we're going to test it out. Because, okay, now it's loading. And if anyone knows, can they help me with the Jeff Morris root problem? The Jeff Morris thing? Yeah. Now it says to the new lots and let and it says three to Flatbush and the end to Coney Island. Now let's see it drive. And the cab works too. And it's working. It was it wasn't working before, but it's working now. Yeah, but I would really appreciate it if someone could help me with the Jeff Morris rolling stock problem cuz when I set the like for example, when I set up the R160 to say like a Q, like the Q train it automatically goes back to an M, so if anyone could help me with that, it's much appreciated. Thank you for watching. And subscribe. Hope you have a nice day. And goodbye.